Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome. Today I'm um, doing a little sort of kind of get ready with me. <laughs> a much abbreviated get ready with me, not like my last video. This one I just want to showcase a couple of new and newer uh, makeup products that I've picked up. So I'm going to be, I've already moisturized my face um, and gone in with a primer, my usual primer, the uh, philosophy, uh, the present primer, because I wanted to try this foundation again. Foundation again. This is the KVD Serum Foundation and it's in the shade 1068. Um, now, if you saw my last video, you know I used it for the first time in that video, but I was using a new primer, and that primer, I feel, definitely um, did some things, okay, <laughs> to where I couldn't really differentiate between what the primer, how the primer was affecting the foundation, or the foundation's performance. So, today I went in with a primer that I use all the time, and so we're gonna, I'm gonna try this foundation again and then I'm going oh I'm going to try um, one of the new blushes from Danessa Myricks this is the yummy skin blurring balm powder flushed blush <laughs> so I got it in the shade golden hour so I'm going to be trying this too and then I picked up um, a couple of concealers from Sephora right now they're having like 50% off a lot of makeup and so they have some concealers that are um, on sale. Now I have the Best Skin Ever concealer that I use under my eyes that I picked up recently as well. But I thought I would try these, make no mistake. I don't know if these are going to be discontinued or whatever, but I got these in two different shades. So we're gonna try that today as well. And yeah, so if you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing because I'm here every week with Makeup Pulse watches, tutorials, and reviews. So let's get into this foundation again. I am not going to get all into the, ooh, I'm not, I'm going to do two pumps. Um, I'm not going to get all into the specifications and everything with this foundation because I did that already um, in my last video. So I will link that video down below and yeah you know what i'm gonna work in sections because the last video and i'm gonna use a um, sponge with it because that's what i use for my foundations and my last video i found that this um let me zoom you in a little bit i found that it um it it dried down pretty quickly and I thought that might have to do with the um, mattifying primer that I used. I used the new Mali um, primer and I thought maybe that was affecting it. But now that I'm using it um, again, I'm finding that no, it's, it's, drying, it's drying down pretty quickly today too. <laughs> so that just might be a feature of this foundation. Um, but now, you know, now that I'm using a, my regular smoothing, moisturizing primer, I know now that the dry down ta time ha doesn't have to do with the primer. It is, it is this foundation. So this is one layer. And this says it's a full, I think medium to full coverage. And when I used it the last time, um, I felt like it was, this is without, this is with, I felt like it was a medium coverage foundation too. And using it again today, this first layer thus far, um, I feel the same way. I feel like this is medium, but I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna do another layer and see if I can't build it up. But I used two layers the last time and I don't feel like it built up to um, a full coverage and maybe for me full coverage is different for other people because you know as you saw I have a lot of as you see I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne scarring so full coverage for me might you know might be overkill for some people <laughs> <laughs> and I never expect a foundation to 
cover up everything even a full coverage foundation I don't expect it to cover up everything but I kind of feel like it should cover enough to where I don't feel like I need to go in with a concealer over top of it and sometimes I feel that way with my NARS soft matte foundation that's full that's in my opinion is true full coverage because I don't always feel like I need to go in with a concealer um, to cover up the blemishes the things that it doesn't cover so this is one layer of the foundation and it does dry down deeper than when you first apply so keep that in mind um, the last time I used this, I wasn't sure if this was this shade was really mm, great, but I don't know, it's looking okay today. So I'm gonna go in with another pump. And the last time I used this foundation, I also ended up using three pumps. But in seeing other people's um, videos, it seems that these pumps aren't you don't get as much product with one pump of this foundation as you do would do with other foundations. So um, you know, I guess that's why I feel the need to go in with three <laughs> pumps instead of two, which is what I normally do. And I'm not going to go all, all over. I don't feel the need to go all over because I don't think I need necessarily much more coverage on my forehead, but definitely over here. And I'm still seeing, I'm still seeing like the discoloration and some scarring and some blemishes, but definitely um, buildable. This foundation is definitely buildable. Although, again, I'm not sure if I would call it, I don't know, I would call it full coverage. It's looking a little more full to me today than it did the first time I used it. So, so yeah, I would, see how that's building up yeah so I would consider this full coverage especially if you're someone who doesn't have as many um, issues <laughs> as I do uh, I think that this would be considered full coverage now it's still it's still drying down really quickly so um, I guess that's just a feature of this foundation but it feels light it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a whole lot uh, makeup it doesn't feel heavy and my face is definitely matte and I don't know I feel like this is a flatter matte you know because there's some natural finish soft matte foundations where I don't feel like my face looks like a flat matte but I kind of feel like I'm looking a flat matte <laughs> with this foundation although it still looks skin like it's still looking like a flat matte to me. You let me know what you're seeing and what you think, but yeah. And again, just like the last time I used it, there is some, there's some tack, but I don't feel like I need to powder this. I'm going to because I, I'm, I have oily skin and that's just my habit, I guess. Maybe it's just habit. Maybe it's just what I'm used to. I don't know, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to powder this down, but definitely doesn't feel like I need to so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and um, I don't know I think I might use one of these I'm going to use one under my eye and I think I'm gonna use one um, over on my face to see if I can cover up give myself some more coverage so this is the Sephora make no mistake um, concealer and this one is in the shade 13 clove um and it says it's a high coverage concealer so that and the fact that i think it was like seven dollars and fifty cents is what made me decide to buy it and try it because i'm looking for a new high coverage concealer full coverage concealer for my face and this one one of them i um squeezed out it was like um uh, you know like wet like so I feel like I need to shake it up and so this is it's a tube so yeah it's really runny that's what number 13 that's what number 13 clothes looks like it's very runny 
and this is very dark so I think I'm going to um, mix it I think I'm going to add the next shade this is nutmeg number 11 and yeah it's like let me show you let me give you a swatch like separating oh uh, yeah I, hmm, I'm not feeling this too okay this one feels thicker because I've opened it before and it came out runny like it was separating separated also come on camera okay so this is 11 nutmeg this is 13 clove and I think I am I'm gonna mix this together <laughs> so that's it mixed together which actually is a good shade for me and I'm going to put it over this foundation I'm just going to put it though in these areas around my mouth um, where I have more discoloration and well I do have some extra so I'll put it over here on my cheeks too okay so the consistency immediately made me think there's no way I'm gonna get any kind of coverage from this but now that I've blended it it feels very creamy <laughs> it feels very creamy and thicker so we'll see I'm gonna let it sit for a second although I don't know that I need to but I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds and I kept the wrapping on it because <laughs> on them because I'm you know I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it your girl is all about returning stuff now back in the day I would keep it because it just seemed like too much trouble to return but nowadays I will return with a quickness and I'm going to talk about another product that I would have returned if I didn't get rid of the packaging so that's that has sat for a little bit so I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to blend it out hmm okay I think I let it sit a little too long <laughs> oh my god uh, are you seeing this because it's I'm having a hard time blending it out okay Maybe that shade was a little, might have been a little too light for my complexion, but that's okay. We'll work it out. All right, so. Okay, I do feel like, I do feel like it added some more coverage. I mean, I can still see my blemishes, but I do feel like it did add some coverage. And it's a uh, it's a matte it's a matte concealer too okay 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 I think that um, once I was able to get it blended out I think it looks good on top of this foundation hmm all right Maybe I won't return it after all. We'll see. We'll see. So now I'm going to go in with my color corrector. I did pick up a new ooh, um, from LA Girl. I got the Pro Conceal, the orange corrector. This is one that I used to use. Um, and then, you know, I started trying others and put this aside. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury um, corrector and I like that one but I don't know I feel like I haven't found the right color and combination yet with cons with corrector and um, concealer to really cancel out the dark spots I just the dark uh, the darkness under my eyes rather I just end up with gray so I'm sure that's just me not knowing, not, you know, using the proper shades, um, proper shade concealer to blank out the darkness. But I feel like I might have put on a little too much too. <laughs> Another reason I kind of tried other correctors is because of this reason. <laughs> 
too much and it would I wouldn't always be able to cover it up with my concealer so yeah I'm looking oh oh I'm looking crazy today I know this headband too is looking crazy but I don't know if I'm gonna do my hair today or not so I don't I'm not gonna go out in the street with it looking like this or anything like that but just to put my makeup on to push my hair back anywho so <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with concealer and you know what I think I'm gonna use one of these I don't know maybe I should use both I'm gonna go in with the Sephora concealer and again I feel like I need to shake it up because it's so runny and thin I'm gonna go in with nutmeg the lighter shade and I don't first of all I'm having a hard time squeezing it out <laughs> and I don't like that it's a tube because I would much prefer a one okay this stuff is thick I don't know between the last time I used it and now whoa whoa it is so okay so much thicker now this I could see giving me fuller coverage as opposed to what I just did on my um on my face yeah this is like a really thick cream and I, I kind of feel like I need to hurry up <laughs> and blend this out or I'm not gonna be able to blend it out I'm gonna go in with the best skin ever also by Sephora this is in 31 Y and this is just to in case I went a little too light with my concealer to tone it down a little bit Ooh, and we're gonna oh my god <laughs> Can I blend it out? Oh, just barely. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, I am famous for having jacked up um, uh, makeup when I do these videos. <laughs> Cause you know, you just never know how these products are going to work. How well they're gonna work, if they work at all. So yeah, this, okay. This concealer, now that it's much thicker, it's almost like a cream. It's so thick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so now I can definitely see the high full coverage aspect <laughs> of this concealer because, whoa. And I know I used too much. Ooh, cha. Wow, okay, wow. That was a bit much. <laughs> that was that was a bit much. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and powder. Ooh, wow, okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I suspect I don't know. This kind of thickness under my eyes <laughs> worries me because I have you know I have a lot of eye under eye wrinkles and whoa if this is not gonna just make me look creepy I'm going in with my Pat McGrath um, under eye setting powder and once again my face is everything is really really mad all righty okay so because I'm going to be going in with uh, one of the Danessa Myrick's bomb powders um, uh, blushes I'm going to go on ahead and use her bomb contour because why not and Yes, I do. Oh, you know what? I haven't powdered my face. Normally, I powder my face. But yet again, because this um, foundation is matte, um, 
See, look, I'm even having problems. Ooh, don't tell me I'm having problems. <laughs> Blending out the bomb contour. <laughs> I want to use this blush. I'm going to use it one side, not set, and then I'm going to set the other side. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and do that now because I will forget. So I'm going back in with my NARS. Okay, I have makeup everywhere. I'm going back in with my, uh, my NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. You saw this in my last video as well in the shade Offshore. Now, I did go ahead, <laughs> I'm just gonna set this side of my face. I did go ahead and order another one in the next lightest shade because come to find out, NARS actually recommends, according to what shade you are in their foundation, they'll recommend what shade powder to use. Why I did not know that before I went on and rushed on ahead and ordered it, I don't know. But that's what happens when you're so quick to do stuff. So I got the shade Offshore, which is not recommended. It's not suggested for my NARS um, foundation shade, which is Caracas. So I got the next one. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the next lightest one um, uh, below this one or above this one, whichever. And so that one is coming. And I'm gonna see because this one is a little too warm for my um, preference. In my opinion, it's a little warm. Although it's going, you know, you can't even see it over this foundation because this foundation is warm too. I don't know, maybe this is the right shade for me. I don't know. But I'm gonna try the other shade and see if I like that better. And if I do, I'm stuck with this because I threw away the box thinking I was gonna keep it. <laughs> And if I don't like the other one, I will just return it. Oh my God, I know, I'm a mess. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder from Danessa Myricks. And this is uh, the new, she came out with some new blushes and I picked up one and I got it in the shade Golden Hour. I was, attempt I was tempted to get two, but I said, let me just buy the one, okay? Buy the one and then see if you like it. And it has Upsolite technology, which is the same technology that's in her bomb powders. Um, the bomb powder, not the bomb contour, the bomb powder. I should have used that as a um, primer. Anyway, a texture reducing blurring balm to powder with a weightless flush of color powered by cutting edge blurring Swedish technology Upsolite visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and fine lines. How to tap on with finger or brush to face and lips. So you can use this on your lips as well. And if I can, if I can get it open. And this is the packaging. Really, really pretty. Very reminiscent of the bomb powder, I will show that to you. Okay, I don't have the bomb powder with me, but very reminiscent of that. And then, oh, you screw it open. Hello, you screw it open. <laughs> Just like the bomb powder. And this is the shade Golden Hour. And it is so pretty. It's like a red orange. So in swatching it, I did swatch. Doesn't it look super pigmented? I did swatch it and when I blend it, that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Oh. But then when I blend it out, it's very, it's more sheer. So, still pigmented though. So, we're gonna try it now. <laughs> I'm excited. So this is the side that I did not set with powder. This is the side that I set with powder. So I'm going to do it on the unset side first. And I'm going to dot it on um, with my finger. Okay, that was probably too much. I'm probably doing too much. Dotting it on with my finger. And then I'm going to take my um, my damp sponge 
and blend it out. And I think it's she said blend it with a brush, right? With a brush or a um, or a um, or your finger. And look, very. See how sheer? So I'm gonna go in with some more. Maybe I'll blend it with my finger this time. Gonna go in with a little more. See, I'm. I. I don't want to blend with my finger because I'm concerned about taking off taking off this foundation lifting my foundation no it's looking good it's looking good and I can see the pigment I can see the pigment now so I'm just gonna go back in with my damp sponge and blend it out Yeah, that's yeah, that's still very sheer and very, and I know the damp sponge is blending it out, is shearing it out as well. So on this side, I'm gonna go get a brush, and on this side, I'm going to apply it um, with my finger in the same way, but I'm going to use a brush to blend it out, and this is the side that I powdered, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a brush. This is a natural hair brush, blush brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. And so now I'm going to go in on the powdered side, the, the side that I set. And I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to put a little bit more, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. And now I'm going to go in with my brush and blend and as you can see, it blends out nicely with a brush. And yeah, I still see some pigment, but again, it shears out. Shears out really nicely. And it didn't pick up, it didn't pick up my foundation. Oh, see, and I don't even feel like I need I don't even feel like I need another layer. I'm gonna go in again. I might look crazy. <laughs> I probably look crazy on camera, right? But I'm gonna go in with my my brush again. Again, this is the unset side of my face, which I'm gonna have to set now that I think about it. <laughs> I should have waited to set it. But let's go in with the brush. And yeah, it does a good job of blending out. On the unset side as well which which is what we would expect right but yeah I I like both sides I feel like I have more pigment on this side when I um, edit this I'll probably be like oh my god girl you look like a clown you got pigment on both sides but I do really like the side with the um, the powdered side so now I'm gonna go in with my powder and I'm gonna powder my face on this side because I might be going out today <laughs> and my face needs to be powdered. <laughs> and then I might go back in with some more of this blush because I'm extra like that. Have you been here? If you follow me here, you know that, yes. So I'm gonna go in again with I feel like I need to turn my lights down so I can see what the hell I'm doing and I'm going to go in with the brush so you could definitely wear this um, and shear it out and get a very natural just flush right because it's called flush a flush of color or you could build this up and yeah so 
I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera. I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about all of these products I just used. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts and verdicts. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back and I have my final thoughts about these new and newer products I use today. But first, if you are curious about what I am wearing on my eyes today, because I know some people are sometimes, <laughs> um, I shopped my stash. I'm going to be doing a lot of that this year. So for my shimmer shades, I use the Pink Crush Cosmetics um, Phenomena Palette and the Danessa Myricks Lightwork 4 Palette palette for the lid shades and then from blend bunny i use the blends the surge and the dollhouse palettes <laughs> basically i used one shadow from each palette because i had that kind of time and it was that kind of day <laughs> so there it is um and then on my lips i'm wearing the pat mcgrath divinal lipstick in the shade Flesh 7 with the MAC um, Cosmetics Plum Lip Liner. All right, so let's get into my thoughts on these products. All right, the Kat Von D Good Apple Serum Foundation. This is my second time using it, and um, the first time I used it, I put it on. I had it on for a short time, so I still haven't done any kind of long, any wear test with this. I will probably be wearing this one a lot longer, but um, yeah. Um, so the good things about it, I mean, I love the packaging. It's a glass bottle, it has a pump, and the shade isn't too bad for me, actually. I mean, you know, it's it's... It's not bad as terms of, in terms of how shades are for me. Um, it is matte, okay? So if you're an early, oily girl like me, um, I really think, again, I haven't done a wear test, but I really think this is gonna hold up really well for you <laughs> because I am matte, all right? And it still looks like skin though, so I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. It's very lightweight. I, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any foundation. Um, and I just, I just look matte. And it has not, or it doesn't appear to have sunken into my um, wrinkles and fine lines around my mouth. I'm gonna zoom you in here. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you know, where I have wrinkles, fine lines here. I feel like that, that they look pretty good. I'm feeling like they look pretty good. What they'll look like as the day goes on, you know, probably not so great, but I feel like they're looking, ooh, focus. I feel like they're looking pretty good now. But on my cheeks, I don't know if you'll be able to see on my cheeks, I have like texture. I mean, of course I have texture, but here in this area, let me turn down my lights a little bit. Okay, I've turned down the lights. I hope it's not too too low, but right in here, I'm seeing a lot of texture, like dry, like dry texture. And I think that is because this foundation is matte. Like I am not, I don't like the way my face looks today. It, I really, I'm not liking this makeup today. Um, even though it still looks like skin, it's like a, my face looks flat matte. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it looks like that on the camera. You tell me what you think, but it just, I think my issue, okay, let, let me get to that in a minute. It, it dries quickly, so you have to work, I would suggest you work in sections because this does dry fairly quickly. And I mean, I, I really feel like it doesn't give me as much coverage as I would like. It does say it's medium to full coverage, and I think if you don't have as many issues as I do, that this may be a, this will be a full coverage for you. For me, I feel like it's not enough. Um, and yeah, I just don't like this as much as I like my NARS Soft Matte Foundation, which is truly full coverage. Um, which is matte, but it doesn't, it's not a flat matte. Like my face just doesn't look so matte and dry. And it, it I feel like this plays up my dry patches because I do have some dryness. I feel like this plays that up. And yeah, I just, I don't, I, I'm going to return this. <laughs> 
had not made that decision until today during this video but well after I've put the makeup on like and finish my face I'm gonna return this I still have the box I still have my receipts $42 and yeah if I, I'm if I don't like it as much or more than my NARS soft matte foundation I don't feel the need to keep this do I think it's a bad foundation I don't I think if you have oily skin I think if medium coverage works for you I think that this will probably be great in the summertime like when it gets really hot and you're oily I think this will probably be fantastic but for me I just don't I've gotten away from and I feel like a lot of brands have gotten away from those flat matte foundations and they're now they've all or are moving into the soft matte and yeah for me this isn't soft enough I feel like this is still flat matte so yeah I'm gonna return it <laughs> And then the foundation, the foundations, the concealers that I picked up on sale from Sephora, the Make No Mistake concealers. All right, so I first, when I first opened them, they're very runny and separate, separated and runny. So you really, really have to shake them up. The lighter shade, the um, what is this? Is this is the lighter shade, Nutmeg number eleven. Now that I've shaken it up. Okay, I just, I didn't mean to pull out that much. This is the darker shade, and it's still kind of on the thin side, whereas the lighter shade is really, I'm really upset that I, I have, because these are small tubes. I'm really upset that I squirted this much out. <laughs> but yeah, they, even though it's liquidy, it's still liquidy, it still feels thick. It still feels kind of thick, and Anyway, this one is more liquidy. The, the the lighter one is I'm having a hard time squeezing it out of the tube because it's so thick and feels like a cream rather than a liquid. Um, I don't like that it's in a tube. I would have much preferred to have an applicator. But with that said, I really think now that the consistency is a lot thicker, at least in this one, and this one, if you give it some time to dry down, they are on the thick side, and I really they do provide the coverage um, I used the lightest one under my eye and that was damn near like um, a cream but a matte cream and yeah it did provide coverage and um, I guess somewhat on the face but again this foundation to me is more of a high medium than a full coverage so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to these and I'm going to continue to use them work with them try them and see how I like them because I really am in the need of a matte foundation uh, matte concealer for my face so yeah I'm gonna keep playing with these and see what I think. Um, the NARS powder, you already know how I feel about the NARS powder because I've ordered it in another shade and I'm gonna see if I like that shade better than this one. But yeah, this powder is just really, really pretty. So that for me is a yes. And then the Danessa Myricks um, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. <sighs> In the shade Golden Hour. I love the packaging. I love the shade. I did apply more off camera because I just felt like I didn't have enough. <laughs> I have enough now. As you saw, it does feel like a cream, just like a bomb powder. Um, even the bomb contour, it does feel like a cream. And um, once you apply it, it does dry down to a powder finish. You saw me apply it on a unset face and a powdered face, a, 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 a side, a face set with powder. And it was I was able to blend it easily on both sides with and without a, with and without my makeup being set. And um, it definitely shears out. So this is, it looks very pigmented in the pan and when you first apply, initially apply it on your face, but you can shear it out. Once you blend it, it starts to shear out. And so you will need to build it in order to get, um, you know, a lot of pigment. But I don't mind that at all um, because I tend to go in with too much 
blush usually <laughs> so a buildable a buildable formula works for me I, I like this I am going to order this in a different shade in that pink shade prima donna I think it's called this bright pink oh beautiful shade but I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale because these are 36 36 dollars and yeah I will wait for a sale but really 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 pretty which doesn't surprise me because if you follow me you know I'm having a love affair right now with Danessa Myricks and all of her products <laughs> so let me know in the comments below do you have any of these products are you looking to pick any of them up and what do you think especially if you have this foundation what are your thoughts on this foundation I'd like to know for me I don't know it's just really not my preference right now where I am in my makeup journey it's not my preference <laughs> If you liked this video or got any use out of it, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.